EDSA. A historical space many of us traversed and occupied once, twice, or even thrice. From the streets to history books, EDSA is now online. In 2011, the 25th year anniversary of the 1986 EDSA People Power, Focus on the Global South takes you on a historic journey on EDSA. The EDSA Stories Project, now accessible online, is a platform that brings to the fore the EDSA stories. Stories about a people's bravery to challenge and bring down a dictatorship. Stories about a young generation's own version of its fight for democracy and against corrupt governments. Stories about individuals, social groups, and communities that have long been marginalized and rendered voiceless by the powers that be. Catch personalities from the 1986 EDSA People Power, EDSA DOS, and EDSA TRES. Get to know more about them through profiles. Find the full transcript of their interviews in the resources. Get front row seats to all 35 interviews with known personalities linked to the historic events that happened on EDSA. Conducted between 2004 and 2005, these interviews tell the untold stories of all three EDSAs. Refresh your memory through the timeline of events. This section outlines the circumstances that surrounded EDSA 1986, EDSA DOS, and EDSA TRES. Hear the women talk of their experiences and views related to EDSA. Of strength more as a political force must always be done within the larger context of empowering the people. If you do that, then you will never go astray, hindi ka magkakamali. Ang gusto kong emphasize ito ha, without the left, EDSA 1 will be impossible, kahit na sila ay marginalized. The EDSA Stories Project will continue to retell the EDSA born stories, however conflicting. EDSA should not have happened. It should never happen. Yung pangalawang EDSA ay basically, tipong rally lang talaga. Yung kausang yan na simpatya o emosyon para sa isang taong fallen, uh, no matter how valid it may be, uh, was an insufficient cause. Varying. Eh, wag naman nating sayangin yung pagkakataon na ang isang people power ay magbunga lang ng isang gloria makapag-alaroyo. And discordant the voices of the EDSA storytellers are... Focus is thus producing its own EDSA documentary. Expected to be completed and publicly premiered within 2011, the film will showcase not just the voices of personalities. The stories of Juan and Juana de la Cruz shall be heard too. The documentary is expected to challenge our understanding of the three historic EDSA events. It will make us question our allegiances. It will make sure that we do not forget about EDSA stories. This is not just our project. Focus wants everyone to tell their own story about EDSA. If you have an EDSA story to share, apply for a Focus Film Grant and contribute to the EDSA stories. The films you will produce will be launched in a short film festival to celebrate Focus Philippines' 10th anniversary. 10 grants will be awarded to lucky applicants who will be given a seed fund of 30,000 pesos each for their video production. Just pick a category that fits your profile. Then prepare the following. Submit the requirements between February 24 and April 24, 2011. Log on to the website for more information and detailed guidelines. Focus will open its doors to historians, scholars, history enthusiasts, researchers, and students. We will make available off the website the archives, a collection of all 35 unedited interviews. Focus will serve as a hub for parties interested to watch these videos or read through the transcriptions in a conducive environment. Focus shares these interviews with the public, especially to the young generation, to continuously kindle in us aspirations for democracy, equality, justness, and humanity. There are many stories, and the stories are far from complete. As long as we have stories to tell, we will not forget. EDSA remains witness to personal and social dramas. Let's continue to learn from the EDSA historic events. Let's continue to find new meanings in them. Samana!
sa makasaysayang biyahe sa EDSA.